y'all. See, this why I don't nobody talk to y'all. <laughs> but you can handle it. Yeah, I you don't be paying no handle. attention to you. Even when you was like, oh, I'm cussed y'all. I was like, girl, come on, man, cuss me out, bitch. I can take a punch. No, it wasn't that. It's the way you've seen it. You've seen the way people will like, It's this is the thing about people. I can admit when I'm wrong. And I apologize the next day. This is my problem. Are we on? Because you know you like to start well, we gotta check videos and shit. No, this is my problem now. If, first of all... Before the shoot. First of all, let me say something like this. <clears throat> if... I lost my train. No, now. well, we can go no, back to the other train because, so, like, again... No, this is why I'm going to say. Y'all, this something If I say to you, if before, I say to you, Kenya, if I say to you, look... Grab a If I say to you, I don't like the song... Or if I say it's trauma bonding, and then you start, first of all, anybody that start clapping their hands and doing that, it's like, oh, you ready? Okay, you think you're gonna just turn up? I said, okay, you the right. I, I'll turn up with you. So we want. I'll meet you now. That's what I said to him. I said, okay, you want me to meet you on your Mario brother level? You on the first level, right? Okay, so let's meet you. No, he was on the first rabbit level. Hole. Y'all, this is the epitome of rabbit hole rant. It Hold on one second. Is it da 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 da? I sound you, great. You sound good. I sound great. This is my problem with people. Are we? <laughs> are are, we, are we focused? Are you recording? Yeah, it's been recording. Should we get closer? Oh, I, I don't stink today, you know, baby. I smell like cherry today. blossom. You know my mom had the nerve to Girl, tell me that I need to get. I can't stand a motherfucking yeah, Libra. That's why. That's why. Mind that's why what you called you acting funny, and you was acting funny the other day. Y'all Libra energy, baby. It's toxic. I funny. Libras are what very toxic. You said it was gonna cuss me out and everything. And I don't why know what I the fuck. Cuss you out? Because Y'all, it's very first unprofessional. Of all, first of all, let's be clear. I keep receipts with everything, okay? Don't ever let that... You gotta come over a little bit. No, I don't. I'm looking at my lime green ass in the reflection, maybe. See? It's just like... Anyhow, go ahead. Like I said, ahead, I keep receipts on everything. But the fact of the matter is, is right now I cannot pull them up for you. Why? Why, audience? Ask me why. I thought you never asked. I can't pull them up because we are filming right now on my amazing Samsung Galaxy Ultra 22. Because I don't have camera. any storage on my <laughs> phone. The better camera. Not so. better than the iPhone 14, baby. But that's Girl. okay. Once I get that, it'll Girl. be. But the thing is, is like this is the thing. Girl. There's yeah. so much divide in this world. <laughs> And I feel like, you know, there's a, like, I feel like the elites are trying to divide us anymore with the droid and the iPhone. And that might and be true, the, but the fact of the matter is, is we have the better device. And while I would pull no, up... No, that's not true, baby. Guys, it's not user-friendly. Regarding, it is absolutely No, baby. And then it looks like trash when you put it on the Instagram you and uh, the lying. TikTok. And why are we using this? We're using it because okay, I don't want to hold for long. Now because I've actually mentioned that this film is there. So once you see this bright, beautiful color come across your screen, just know it was done with a guy. I don't got my wig on. Hold up one second. <laughs> Keep it going. Oh, my God. You let me get on this camera without a wig on? Oh, my God. Well, you guys. Whoa. I'm Kenya J. And these are Rabbit Hole Rants. <laughs> Where the hell? You just gonna let me get on camera. I'm gonna be Marge Simpson today. Girl, you ain't got no yellow wig. I do, but it just be... Girl, you ain't got no yellow wig. You cannot go with the But that's not yellow. This is neon. You're absolutely correct. It's just like a droid. (laughs) Oh, like your... But yet and still your nails are what's supposed to be... Girl, and you was talking about my nails What's supposed to be the polish on his nails. It's seemingly very close to the color that I'm wearing. I don't want to prolong the podcast. Anywho, <clears throat> but what I was about to get receipts for was the fact that I had to cuss him out. No, baby. See, the thing is, as bitches like to say, I was being actually ah! very nice. But <clears throat> you gotta be nice with me. <laughs> y'all be thinking y'all gotta be nice with me. Go ahead and cuss me. Y'all out, friend like to go back and forth with scheduling, okay? Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. He is the most indecisive, and I'm a Libra. He is the most indecisive creature I have. Ever and I was experience. birthed by a Libra, so I guess that's and it. maybe the reason I don't know what might have rubbed off, but then again, he a cancer, so that's that's probably why he always the best back zodiac back. sign all because no, we're the mother the, of the zodiac baby, the whiniest of them all. Y'all wouldn't even have it together if the cancer wasn't around, baby. We got sure. it all together. Yeah. So he was going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth <laughs> as it pertains to scheduling. We was trying to have a guest on Rabbit Hole Rants and. 
we were trying to get all my the entertainment boyfriend lord we were trying to get all the schedules to <laughs> coincide and so i literally am an over communicator like literally communication is my strong point so if i ever have a miscommunication with you you can bet your bottom dollar it was probably intentional so i'm very clear when it comes to certain things and i already saw y'all friend going back and forth back and forth back and forth so i literally said in a statement i can't say and i quote because we're taping on my beautiful phone but it was something along the lines of so just so that we're clear we will be meeting on this day at this time for this reason this petty asshole yes perfect works for me because i outlined Everything that I have any question about or concern to a single response, I received yes. 37 seconds later. No, I'm just kidding. It was like a couple of hours later. And he goes, hey, so maybe we should do this time? Or it was something about the time. And I was like, now I just asked you for sure. And he's like, well, I mean, it's just the same thing. And I'm like, no, it's not. I'm coming from one side of town to all the way to the other. Like, Somebody has the privilege of being able to be in their own little boat. I want to be timely like I was today. <clears throat> I'm letting you finish, baby. So I'm letting you get it all out because then I'm going to go. So go therefore, ahead. Therefore, I wanted to make sure that I was very respectful of everyone's time. However, that, for whatever reason, and I wish I could use the ex exact vernacular so y'all could understand the story better, mm -hmm. but that was confusing to this person for some reason mm -hmm. some reason it was confusing to him and he was like well fine we'll just do it on this day and then i was like well i don't know about this day because xyz well fine we could just wait to next month you know what sir <laughs> that's the cancer in you go ahead go ahead which and brings... then he wonder why everybody ain't talking to his ass the only reason i'm still talking to his ass is because i don't be paying no fucking attention to him but everybody else in the world ain't talking to him right now which brings me to my first topic. Uh, well, we're going to go for one. First of all, <clears throat> let's talk about yeah, technology. It's, color. it's beautiful, baby. It just needs to be redone. The next color is blue, but since we're in October, it's going to be black because my spirit is dark right now. Anyways, I feel that a lot of girls in technology, a lot of gays and girls right now, they text and they try to read your voice in a text message. So, and I do the same thing. So when I'm texting, I will read the voice of the person and then they'll be talking and I will try to portray what I think that they're saying in the text message. However, some, yes, and I believe that sometimes when certain people, King included, and I send a text message, will sometimes project what the text message said. Now, in my point of view, what I was trying to clarify was trying to get everybody on the same page because I know Kenya can be very timely about the way she likes to do things. I'm very lackadaisical. I'm like, go with the flow, but I also have a lot of stuff going on just like Kenya and my entertainment boyfriend. And I wanted to make sure <laughs> that everything was together. Mm -hmm. However, in the midst of doing that, I kind of projected. Now, my first topic is... We gonna get to the intro. <laughs> Bitch, if y'all know who we are, this is Rabbit Hole Rants. I wanted to be called Ratchet Rabbit Hole Rants, but you know what? That's another thing. I always compromise. So welcome to Rabbit Hole Rants. I am uh, queen of the ratchet, but today you can call me Thaddeus. Oh, goodness. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I have a feeling that Thaddeus sounds like every week. It is. Thaddeus sounds just like a, like something that you could just spread open. Thaddeus. Okay. That sounds like, it sounds like lard. No, lard <laughs> sounds like someone that's got like a lot of like shit in their system. And fat. That's yeah. What lard is. Okay. So anyway, <clears throat> I'm Kenya J, <laughs> your beautiful co star, and um, owner and founder of YNA Apparel. Which I am rocking a little bit of both today. Uh -huh. I have a amazing black owned beautiful business partner and her brand is called Black Widow. So I'm rocking both YNA and Black Widow. Ooh, that's like them girls when they be like top from Sheen, bottom from Nova. <laughs> so yeah. 
Tops from YA Apparels, a bottom from YA Apparels, a sports bra from Black Widow. So, shout out to and They the always do team. that voice. It's like the Kim Kardashian. Right, voice like, like I don't know what. what do y'all really talk like that? Anyway, no hating on y'all. Um, so, the first topic is. When do bitches in this dimension start accepting apologies? If I apologize to you, which we have a mutual friend that I reached out to and I said I wanted to reconnect. However, that mutual friend decided that they did not want to reconnect with me because they thought they thought the friendship was one-sided. <laughs> and I disagree. And I kind of got a little hurt and offended by that because I was like, okay, it's been over a year. When do we say to ourselves, okay, I'm going to accept that person's apology. Maybe that person was going through something. I'm kind of like sick of this, oh, I'm going to cut a bitch off thing, which I get. But at the same token, I think people cut off too quickly. But you're one of the main cutters. No! No! Okay, yeah. Okay. So, step <clears throat> step one. I thought with the TikTok video. <laughs> step one. Accountability. On both sides. Yes. On both you sides. Also, you can't, in the same breath, be like, I'm sick of this shit! And then do it within the same breath. And that's what you're doing. You are literally queen, cut them off. You're literally queen. I'm going to say what the fuck I got to say. And in order to but in the you same feel tool. that way, then that means that you can't possibly ever receive what someone is trying to give you. If you are so hell bent and charged with saying how you're going to say your piece and feel your way, then that already is not taking accountability because that means that you're going to say whatever you got to say regardless of whomever's feelings are involved, whomever might get hurt, whomever might be cut in the process. You're going to do it. So here's the thing. If you throw a rock and I throw a dagger, that's my business. You decide to throw a rock, I decide to pick up a weapon and throw a dagger. If you throw a dagger and I decide to pick up a pistol, hey, that's what it is. You should have never thrown in the beginning. So you're saying you never, you've never thrown first? Absolutely. I throw first all the time. Sometimes, well, girl, even, so even in relationships. Throw first, they throw back and then you're like, just kidding, sorry, now be my friend. No. No. In the situation, no. in some situations, though, I feel that certain people can take one thing and run with it. And I believe in that instance, if someone is taking one thing that isn't that serious to me, maybe it is serious to them. I guess they got some trigger or trauma that don't have anything to do with me. If it's that one thing, that makes me question that whole goddamn relationship. Was it even genuine to fucking begin with so this is the thing you're seeing only one thing no i see both no 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 i'm saying you're seeing only one thing you feel like that person might have stopped talking to you because over one thing but yet and still what if it was 17 other little things that they've ignored that they even maybe talked to you a little bit about or maybe said something but then this one thing was the final straw you don't get to place anybody's anybody else's limits if you me and you could be it's certain things that yeah somebody can do and i'm like eh, okay but it's also certain things that if i see somebody do i'm like oh that's enough for me like i don't i don't have to stick around to know that i'm not i don't have to give you seven chances when i know this one is enough for me Majority of time when I get cut off, it's because I'm like, girl, get the fuck up. Move. Come on. Let's get it going. It doesn't feel, in my opinion, that it's justified. And then in that same breath, even if it is true, because you know what? I've even acknowledged it. Maybe I am a narcissist. Maybe I ain't saying it. I get called that. And I think anybody that can call somebody a narcissist in an argument, you have to get that mirror and reflect it on your goddamn self. Because, <laughs> first of all, I didn't even really know what a narcissist was until this fucking pandemic. I heard the term before, but goddamn has that word been used so much. Yeah. And I feel like at the end of the day, everybody is a narcissist. Yeah, and, and yes, absolutely. Everybody has some type of narcissistic traits in them. You are absolutely correct. However, just like I feel like everybody in some type of way has some type of an addictive trait in them. Chill. But it is how you 
move about. So if you have an, it like genetically, if you have an addictive type of gene in your system, I do. like meaning heavily genetically, not just because like we said, everybody has a little bit of everything in them, good, bad, evil, all that great stuff. But if you genetically are bounded to know that you have an addictive personality, it would not be smart for you as an individual to go out and partake in things that can help solicit addictive type behavior, i.e. drinking, i.e. drugs, i.e. overeating, you know, things of that nature. Why? Because you are genetically at a disposition over somebody who is not. But how do you, okay, okay, great, 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 great. Here's the thing, though, because I, 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 I do a Tai Chi practice, um, and I agree with all that. Like, my, you're talking about mindfulness, yeah, meaning like it's a conscious thing. So like you said, everybody is a little bit of a narcissist. That's great. But if you are actually wired to where you are the epitome of a narcissist, then you, it is your responsibility to be accountable for what a narcissist is, what it looks like, and to make sure that you're not projecting or flipping or doing the narcissistic things that a major makeup of a narcissist is. Not that the little bits of, yeah, we all got this in us type thing. All of us. But does a narcissist know that he, they're a narcissist? <clears throat> That's the thing is, I don't think that a person. But you're like, in therapy. It, Have you not talked about this with your therapist? Apps. Oh, I'm not in therapy anymore. You know, I told my therapist, I said, "Bitch, I got to do this by myself. I got all the tools in there." I said, "Thank you. I understand what I need to do." Uh, uh, and at the end of the day, we all fucked up and we all a little crazy. And I'm still going to say fuck you to who I need to say fuck you to. And when I get to the pearly gates of hell or heaven, I'm gonna say, "Did you?" They're gonna say, "Hey, did you have fun?" I'm gonna say, "Yes, I did." And I cussed a lot of motherfuckers out. You want to do it again? Sure. Let me go back down there and cut some more motherfuckers out and say, fuck you. See? And then you wonder why. When does people take an apology? Girl. But you know what? This is what I'm going to say. This is what I'm going to say. Anybody that has ever fucked with me will come back and fuck with me. Now, if I just give in and say, oh, okay, I'm just going to let you live your basic ass life and not approach you or say anything, I don't think that's right. I think the, when we talk about a friendship, right? Mm hmm a friendship isn't just like let's oh that's it right there told you i told y'all i told y'all we got it live on, we got it live on camera i asked you three times no three, i keep the receipts y'all i it's on the freaking camera girl i don't remember those things you girl i said those. are we recording because you know josh ain't professional you looked at it, i said are you sure you're recording this is let's restart the podcast get out of here Here's the thing. Um, my name is Joshua Gilliard. This is my unprofessional um, uh, co-star. Uh, I am his very professional and attentive co-star and founder of YNA Apparel, Miss Kenya J. Which means you're not awkward, but it was real awkward to be talking and you guys not really knowing what's going on. Ah, it was yeah. really awkward. <laughs> Still uh, one. Welcome Turn on all equipment to Rabbit Hole Rants. Um, welcome which back. Is, if you're on video, hey, <laughs> this is the uh, the new thing that we're starting, which will also feature sketches, TikTok videos for you guest youngins, stars. guest stars with interviews, um, sexy gentlemen of like fluidity and, and boss women. Uh, yeah, okay, let's talk about that. <laughs> Girl, not over people me. saying uh, boss bitch women, and let's just talk about Coach Stormy. Do you know who Coach Stormy is? Okay, so I am I am not a follower, um, obviously, you know which means that not a fan. But little parts of TikTok has been teaching. You know, y'all, everybody knows that YouTube University is a thing, right? Duh. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. um, but. If you guys are old enough to actually have like had to go to like libraries back in the day and do like reports, book reports and stuff for school, there's these things called cliff notes, right? And cliff notes essentially are what is like a large ass summary of whatever you're trying to read. Mm -hmm. So I've come to find TikTok to be the cliff notes and YouTube to be the university. So I don't always go in depth and, and fall down the rabbit holes in, in YouTube land, cause you can be there for hours. Yes. But I do appreciate the the TikTok cliff notes because like he said, I don't be knowing these people for real, for real, but TikTok will make sure you buy average. Did click, not know who Coach Story was. Click back on these there, couple of videos yeah. and then you get everything. You be like, well, what? So no, I'm not a follower or a fan. But I have heard um, some of the 
if you made a plate of food <clears throat> and you were at a cookout and just a random woman or one of your friends <laughs> said that plate looks hood rat my plate looks queen how would that make you feel as a woman because I feel like I, I don't really have a big opinion about it, but I feel like, especially what I've noticed and what I've heard. Who is this life, friend in relation to me again? Or who is this person in she's relation just to as, me? She's just, as, she's just as successful as you. Okay. She's a, she's supposed to be a, a friend or maybe a mentor. And she looks a at A mentor? Your... Oh, see, there's a difference for me. Okay. Versus a mentor, a friend, or an associate. I would need Please to know. explain the difference. Okay. So, well, first I know of, the difference. So to me, a mentor is someone that I've already sought out to look up to because of whatever path that they're going and for whatever um, reasons that I might have in going that same path, like needing a more wise person to lean on who has the experience of doing X, Y, Z, right? Mm -hmm. That's a mentor. So that's somebody that I more than likely have definitely done my research on because if I'm trying to follow you and I'm already worth following, Baby, you got to be, you got to be heading somewhere good. Okay. That's number one. That's a mentor. Um, <clears throat> his favorite topics, friends and associates. Um, mm -hmm. A friend, while it does have a little bit more for me to deal, not necessarily with time put in, because so many people be like, I know them for X, Y, Z, just because you know them that long does not make them no friend. Right. Trust me, I didn't fell down that hole before. It's a lot of holes. But um, that doesn't make a friend. A friend to me is a person who has made the conscious effort, the put in the work, because a friendship is just like a relationship, which all ships lead to one side or the other. Like you have to put in work for it. So that's somebody where, yes, it ain't gonna always be good times. It ain't gonna always be perfect conversations. It ain't gonna always be puppy dog tails and kitten wags and shit like that. But it's somebody who's willing to put in the work, whether that's them being right, wrong, indifferent, and exhibiting an amount of loyalty to you that is bar none. That's what a friend is for me. Um, and you do have some people who can come in your world and be like that off the bat because they can feel you, they can feel your energy, and they just be like, you know what? I rocks with this person and that's just what it is. So I've been blessed with a couple of those too. Shout out to y'all. Um, a associate is just that. It's, I don't understand why we have made this such a negative term. Um, everybody always wants to jump back and, oh, my friend, my friend, that is not your friend, sis. And or guy. That's not, it's not. You know the difference because a friend would it's also. very muddy though. It is a very murky Associate water. Associate and friendship is, can be very, it's, very But muddy. that's the thing. I really don't think it has to be as murky as it is. I think because of the social construct of what we've deemed friends to be, we've, we've watered it down and surfaced it so much that it's not what it truly is. And so now we mix the terms together. Somebody can just meet him like, oh my God, this is my friend, Josh. No, it's not. I think I say that now. I used to say this is my associate, but now I'm like, I got a lot of friends. Like, I do. I just, I'm like, whatever. If you want to be my friend, okay, we'll be friends. Right, but what makes them that friend? It An associate just... is just that somebody you might have come past to. Y'all have a couple of common interests. Y'all vibe well together. It ain't nothing bad. Y'all see each other when y'all see y'all. But it ain't no extra work going in. It ain't no extra effort. Ain't no, it's no nothing. Why do you have to have extra effort when it comes to being friends with someone? You because have... friends take work. The same way when you're in a relationship, I you have to put in effort. associates take work, too. To say hey to a bitch is a lot of work. No, it's not. Baby... Yes, it is. Because sometimes I'll be wanting to speak to motherfuckers. Sometimes I just do not want to speak to motherfuckers. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, God damn. Hi, hi, Jill. Right, but that's what I'm saying. That's a quick hi. Uh, an associate will definitely get a quick hey. But a friend is going to get a conversation. So that's why I don't call everybody friend, because I'm not going to feel bad if I, hey, how you doing? Okay, and keep walking. You're not my friend. You're yeah. my associate. I said, hey, I did our cordials, and I kept the fuck on moving. But I feel like some of your friends can make the worst enemies and some of your enemies can make the best friends no and that's why your ass is toxic and in your situation yeah, that you everybody got a lot I of toxicity ain't, like i Britney ain't Spears ever song. ever said that an enemy made my best friend yes what is your common you ground with me if you're an enemy let me tell you something i read this in the the 48 laws of power an enemy will always try to prove to you that they are loyal so it's better to keep your enemies close 
And no, your friends close and your enemies closer. That's why they say that because you're right, enemies, but they don't make a better friend. Your enemies, you will can't tell be you, my enemy and my friend. Your enemies so will tell you when shit is going sour. I'd rather hang around the enemy. And you know what? Strangers will support you more than your friends do. Well, duh, duh. So duh, why duh, be duh, friends duh. with these motherfuckers? Just make them all your enemies. Hello. <laughs> You know who your best friend is? Your damn self. Duh. Okay, back to the topic of gospel. We just went down like a rabbit hole. Right, a good, a good ass rabbit hole. A good ass I rabbit just, hole. I just, I feel like this whole. Why was black, you so angry with Boss Bitch? Because sometimes it feels fake as fuck. Like this whole like black power boss bitch all that it feels like get i know you're not doing it in this moment but it just feels like give me your cash app give me your money <sighs> let me sell you something i really don't care if you succeed in this world and i don't is feel that like, what you got from the coach stormy situation i don't feel like coach stormy wants all the black women to succeed no Oh, that's a good one. And I, I don't. Like I said, I don't follow her. I don't do nothing with her. So First I really of all, anybody that's sitting there saying to a woman with a plate of food, that's hood rat of you based off of my food, which is queen. There's a way to deliver messages in that. First of all, it. that's not even a message to be delivered. Okay. Let's be very Why much clear. Why are you worried about my goddamn food? Thank you. What I eat don't make you shit. <laughs> no. Settle down. Okay. That's number one. Number two. I don't understand. And there's a lot of like heavyweight people that have a lot of money. I'm not even worried about the heavyweightness of it. It's talking about like who justified yours as a queen portion versus mine as a hood rat portion. The fact of the matter is, is that the healthiest plates were only held by royalty back in the day. So why you sitting here on this peasant tea? type shit with this a piece of corn here and a piece of broccoli there bitch i am the one who's looking like royalty but and it wasn't even broccoli on her plate it was chicken it was well shrimp, no i'm saying was, portion wise yes. you know it's that's very peasant of you to only have a little bit this of that it, emperors kings queens they didn't have a fucking little ass plate they had portions they had what they wanted as a matter of fact they had a plate in front of them a plate on their way Sorry. a plate coming through after that like be don't ever try yeah. to mark my plate the thing also is is like especially with black and brown people we were always fed the scraps we weren't fed the stuff that they were feeding to the no absolutely people. and like we had like the just even to go further like and i, I think that she probably meant well no you did not mean well you did not mean well you in, did in, not mean in her well. perspective let's just go from another perspective of it what perspective is it that was literally nothing but a bullying tactic there is no perspective in the world even if i were the one saying it saying i'm a queen and look at yours you're a hood rat like first of all you you can't come from a positive perspective because nothing about that statement was positive. Do you think that it always has to be positive to get a point across? Because sometimes I feel like sometimes some people need it to be negative. Some people need a little bit of a bully pushback. Um, so this That's is that positive thing. and negative reinforcement. Like it's like, oh, it needs positive reinforcement all the time. I but there was it. no there was no purpose for that. That's what I'm saying. It's not like this young lady from the clips that I saw. It's not like this young lady was overweight. It's not like this young lady was a food addict. Like if you had been on the actual video and was able to hear the addict conversation because clearly the equipment wasn't on. But if you <laughs> if you were like an addict or something like that and that was something that your coach knew about you and she's trying to direct it and saying, Hey, look at what you got on your plate. Even still, if that was a case of her trying to be an advocate for that person, even in that very moment, it still wouldn't have been with the Hey, you a hood rat because you eating this and you won't stop type energy. So miss me with that. That no. That, and then and then I have a better question. What is the need? Because we talked about this on another uh podcast. I can't remember if it was Queen of Ratchet or Rabbit Hole Rants, but what is the need for us? And I I ask this specifically to my black queens, but also to the community in general. What is the means for us to accept, be accepted so bad? Like mm -hmm. that lady's response immediately was, I didn't make my plate. They put this on my plate. When my response would have been, okay, like what's your point? You feel me? Cause I'm trying to figure out is 
what what is what is this doing for you like you're going to make sure that i understand your purpose of this sentence or conversation because right now i'm not getting it but her first reaction was to defend that she didn't do it girl i don't give a goddamn if it was four pieces of chicken two corns on a cob and some goddamn potato salad if that's what i put on my plate and i told them to keep putting it on my plate because i'm a hungry ass bitch i'm going to eat it and i don't care and I'm, my question to you is why do you care well if you're in a cult if you're in a cult, that, that even if like it, even certain churches and everything, if what? you are in a cult and like she might not call it a cult, but if you have manipulated these women to follow you, they're going to try to please you. And even goes even further when we were on So again, what is it that's broken in that individual that makes you feel like you need to, again, a mentor leaning on someone, meaning you have your own path that you're pursuing, but you see someone who's done a similar type of thing, great. But what in me makes me feel like I am so less than and I need approval so bad that I am just going to follow you. I'm just going to lean on your word, your beck and your call. You is not Jesus. But I would even go as far as, and y'all might even, I don't, I don't care. But, uh, you might get us canceled. We just, started. I'm not fin to get us canceled. <laughs> no. I'm going to say this because my teacher said it. Jesus has a lot of karma. And this is what I'm going to say. I, I was helping uh, my um, Tai Chi practice out with like, uh, getting people to meditate for 21 days. And some of the people were like, you know what I do? I don't meditate. I just give it to Jesus. And I'm like, well, y'all sitting up there. This is what I said. I was like, you know what? Jesus is probably in heaven. Jesus was a man by one. Jesus is probably in heaven saying, damn, all these motherfuckers are giving everything to me. I'm trying to fucking relax. I'm in heaven. What makes Jesus any different from you or me? Jesus was a part of God. What are we? Parts of God. I'm just sick of everybody saying Jesus this and praise Jesus that and everything. Well, girl, Some of don't be too sick and don't be too close because I still love my Lord. Yes, okay? you can love him. But listen, the people that are loving him are suffering from mental illness diabetes heart attacks and all that you can love the lord but you're still not taking care of yourself you can read the bible every day and still be fucking unhealthy like i just i feel like i wish jesus would just fuck jesus you know i don't know if the internet is connected to heaven bring your ass back down here and really tell them what it is because another thing is that you jesus i still got a couple of more things and being that i know your word are you white or black <laughs> Cause I'm so sick of these motherfuckers that think that you white. Being that, that I know the word a little bit and know when you return, that's the end of everything. If you feel so led to come ahead of time, just come visit him. We, we'll make sure we put some over his dough so you can know exactly who and where he is. Jesus isn't in African culture though. They don't worship Jesus over there. Yes, they do. I mean, Jesus now a who? lot of it has been whitewashed. And Yeshua. Europeanized. They worship Yeshua. Okay, so you know, I heard the best example today. If we really sat down, like, and was real, the all of the, the divides in this world come from just literally people choosing to believe the language in which they want to believe and literally like down to a language and resting on interpretation not the actual principle of it because what you just said if i say jesus jesus and that's to me the son of god who came and died for our sins da, 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 but overseas they say yeshua who is still of the same belief system that is a son of man who came or a son of god who came and died for all man then literally the only difference is saying jesus versus yeshua but mother suckers will fight to the death over the pronunciation and it's like now you're lost in the principle of it over, I mean lost past the principle now like because the it's purpose become, it's become a cartoon character because the other thing is is you have so many fucking depictions of him you have white Jesus over no here. you have one you have, word yeah you have one word but all these motherfucking pictures people put, again that's literally what I just said what people choose to oh dang it's on this beautiful phone I can't even pull it up because I was gonna pull up the post so you can actually hear like the wording of what the guy said but that's literally the but, point okay so what I'm saying is you you you, you call yourself a Christian correct? yes okay yes. 
you believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins. Yes. And I, I believe I, I, that. And I, and I could feel like I have this conversation with you because I feel like spiritually you're at a level where I can have this conversation with right. you. Right. Because but again, Buddhist, let's just be clear. I identify as Christian, obviously, because that's how I've been raised, non-denominational. I do believe that the Lord and Savior came and died, but that's also because with the additional reading and research that I have done across many different religions there has on the one consistent thing that I was able to kind of notate is that all of them speak about a person who was here who walked this earth and performed miracles now whether they called him Buddha Yahshua Jesus like it all the consensus is, is there was someone so just based on my faith experience and teachings I just tend to call him Jesus. But if you call him Yeshua and we talking about the same person, I'm not going to be mad. Yeah, but Jesus was one side body. Buddha is another another person. Buddha, it, 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 and this is the thing. The I, read, I just read this book. There's a Dalai Lama and the Archbishop. And Archbishop is a very on the Christian side. Dalai Lama is very on the Buddhist side. Mm-hmm. And they got together. And yeah, they didn't agree on everything. But the one thing I feel like that was agreed on is it doesn't matter what religion you are. It is your relationship with the spirituality in itself. And I really do believe Though we like to think that Jesus is out here and he may be coming back, which respectfully, if he is coming back, hey, Lord, if he's not coming back, which I choose to be, I'm like, okay, well, he didn't come back during slavery. He didn't come back during the coronavirus. He didn't come well, back during the all world these different also, times. Well, the word also says that he'll be back. I think it says something about like 70 generations. And if you think about a generation, a generation is anywhere from... 20 to 30 years so therefore you would have to take 20 and multiply that times 30 which gives you about I'm sorry you have to take 30 because I did the high end and multiply that times 70 which gives you about over 2,000 some odd years so depending on when that scripture was written you still got another 2,000 years so we could be in the middle of the 2,000 we could be in the end of the 2,000 but we definitely not in the beginning of the 2,000 so that's why people keep saying it's coming it's just a math thing. Sorry. This might get us canceled. Churches are nothing more oh, than drug cleaning businesses. Girl. That are ran, Girl, what that are in ran, the that are ran and y'all take people's money and y'all have Girl, all the no ma'am. Fuck y'all. No ma'am. That is not what that is. I said what I said. No nothing ma'am. But y'all clean money. That's what no y'all do. No ma'am. I watch P Valley. Girl. If that is where you're getting your basis from, yep. then there's... I watch Greenleaf. Okay. Okay. Anyway, speaking of cults um, and people that uh, do ridiculous things from... Like wear yellow wigs. Mm-hmm. You know run what? Off, hey. Run off camera and be like, I ain't got my... Girl, I had to get my head together, Girl, baby. why you ain't put on your outfit to go with I it? I was going to put it on, friend. I Girl, was. Girl, yeah. Baby, you know After these weekend. messages, we'll be right. Back. <laughs> Go put your outfit on. I keep the people entertained. Keep the people entertained. Y'all. Listen, I'm going to tell you something now. It's Pride. Take off your head. It's Pride Weekend here in Atlanta. Okay. So I am going to be naked at the park. Why Why would you be? Nobody wants to see that, Josh. Baby, that's the thing they do. Jo- they wait, do are you not taking that off? What? The gray thing. No, girl. I sweat. Sweat's good for you, baby. Okay, and you just gonna keep the pants. Yes, okay. I'm gonna keep the pants on. Girl, I'm the type of bitch that will still pull a man and not have to do anything. Girl, I could uh, and zoot it and toot it in a granny suit and girl, still. Girl, can man, you fix this wig? Still, men would still want to sleep with me day and night. The thing is, you girls do too much with your fake on press on nails and your Kim Kardashian. Oh, those aren't fake. No, baby. You sure? I'm positive. Oh, they okay. Yeah, that's girl. cool. That's real. <laughs> Hair on real. Okay. Nails on real. Everything on my body. Oh, sorry. I like that. It's real. Okay, that's gonna go on my album. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I like to think of my spirituality as this. This is my existence, bitch. I mean, to be I'm completely right honest, my damn self. this is my existence. Like it's my movie. To be completely honest, it's literally just the notion that I will continue to say that I continue to speak and that I stand ten toes down on your perception 
is your reality. Yeah. That's 100%. Whether you, if you truly believe there's no God, guess what? There's no God oh, in I your world. A God. I believe there's something. Well, no, but that's what I'm saying. It's all about the individual. It's very individualized and based because no matter what that individual believes, th- see, that's the thing. A belief can't be shaken a belief is if you a belief believe in can't something, be shaken however but if you believe in something that is belief in something if you believe in nothing you're still believing in something exactly so that's why i said a belief can't be shaken so that's why i'm anybody who like i believe and they're adamant about it i ain't arguing with you it's for what us. you th- because i just told y'all at y'all this is real live time again of y'all seeing him not listening and then wondering why he always getting fussed and cussed at okay back to the topic uh so we're gonna switch topics we're gonna go to one topic but let's say this if i apologize to you and you call myself you call yourself my friend accept my goddamn apology this whole but that's the thing thing, that friendship that friendship might have passed sweetheart Okay, that shit, people, that you come into your my... life for a season, a reason, a lifetime. Fuck y'all then. Well, you can't be mad at that. And sometimes, again, the the number one thing to realize is I'm always apologizing. Only time can he, and that could be a problem too. Because if you're always apologizing now, when and when does it become genuine? If you're just like, oh, oh my god, I said I'm sorry. Are no, you though? Are you no, though? Because my apologies. But are you though? Yes. And you're an actor, so I don't give a damn if you hit one of these. <clears throat> Listen. I, no, 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 no. Listen. I was wrong. You forgot the water works. Right, you, they ain't there yet. You normally, you normally say, you say at least three sentences because you're trying to get your monologue together in your head. You'll do a little head shake and you'll be like, this is an audition, so you got to look off the camera. I was wrong. <laughs> now, and I know that sometimes deep inside mm. we as as we're supposed to be friends right then he asks reassuring questions we're supposed to be friends right yeah okay okay Absolutely and so sometimes friends mm-hmm. might have wax in their ears nigga that is not an apology he starts off with it seems so fucking you're like okay all right and then it'd be like ew ew He'll he'll literally start with seemingly good intentions. He'll be like, "Listen, I I know that we just sometimes don't see eye to eye, and that's okay, because we're in two different." Then he starts trying to confuse us. We're in two different matrices, okay? Matrix six, and he'll say some shit like that and make you be like, "Is that two even a world?" Dimensions. And then he'll be like, "It's like level five, all right." And then he'll start get the meaning like like right now. OK, because I've studied all of this. I'm on level five and you're probably at like three and a half shot. Number one. And the person all the while who you supposed to be apologizing to is like, did this nigga just say I wasn't on his level again? <laughs> yes. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> and then and then <laughs> after saying what so many get? other contradicting <laughs> ass things mm-hmm. about the dimensions and universes and how he's here. And the only reason we haven't misunderstandings is because you're there. But it's that all hologram too. right. And then and then he'll throw his hands up even more confused. And be like, but it's all right. Because none of us is fucking here anyway. Yeah, except me. I'm the only person that's real. And then you sit there as the other person, sometimes with your mouth agape. <laughs> and you're like, mm-hmm. and then he's like, and he looks at you, his head back, and he's like, so you don't accept my apology? And the whole time you're like, that was a fucking apology? And then I say, I accept your apology, even though you're too much of a narcissist to say it. And you guys, that's the story about how Josh has no friends. Speaking of narcissists, <laughs> <laughs> I do. They're just always mad at me. You know what the problem is? I need to start back having intercourse because when I was doing that daily, then the person I was with was the person I was arguing with. And that, you know what? Makeup sex is some of the best sex you can have. Grab me by the throat. Anyway, speaking of narcissists uh, or people that are kind of like zany in this world, let's talk about Kanye West. Oh and, my god! Uh, I'd rather Owens. go back to the let's let's loop the rabbit hole one time. And Makeup sex, it's not a thing for me. We have to talk about it. It's not a thing for me. We got to talk about the Kanye West thing. Yeah, we're gonna loop back around in there because Kanye is draining. Okay, and I have not. Why? Read, he is just draining. 
he is just so problematically draining and it's so sad because what? i really loved kanye back when he's still loving lord rest his mother so, so after after she passed he was not he i think he was cloned after he passed at this point because kanye be doing so and i'm not speaking this on his life lord i really am not but this is just my theory because he got so fucking weird i feel like after his mom passed something happened mm -hmm. and the real Kanye went away I feel like that man was like you know what I don't want to do this my mom is not here all of this shit around me fake anyway because that's what his all of his great teachings yay's great teachings that's what they're pretty much about like y'all are putting too much into this materialistic ass world and basically it was like on some gutter like y'all got this shit type thing but now I feel like his mom passed he went away he was too popular around the time that she passed, so they just cloned him. And they gave him a deal. Who's and that? They, the government, the powers that be. I just feel like he was cloned. And, yeah, that's just, he was cloned. He had to be cloned because this is not Kanye. This is not Kanye. I find it entertaining. You know why? Because he knows what to do to get people to talk. And Candace Owen does, too. Oh, they probably she got is together. so fucking training. They probably got, but Good she's smart. Night. You're not Girl. gonna, lie, but you're not gonna. Girl, no, you're not smart if you're spewing out problematic mm -hmm. rhetoric with no factual fuck. It's literal things that people choose to just ignore, and it's like, yeah, I will, I will say that definitely. Like, would I go back and forth with her as it pertains to uh, educated type of debate? No, because her education base is in politics and this and that. And I wouldn't want to get tripped up on some kind of linguistic nuance that she knows as it pertains to either a law or bill or something like that without me having the proper knowledge to support my opinion. However, regardless of the knowledge and information that she possesses, she literally takes it and spew it in a very problematic way that is affecting to her whole community. Because for her to act like people of color have not been literally and intentionally targeted and systematically oppressed is bullshit period well maybe in her consciousness she feels like if she lives in a world where that does not happen right maybe then, like you said before then she's right so the cuteness about it is is while that might be her world in which it doesn't happen to her there's a <laughs> there's still a literal big world so baby if you ever move out of your piece of a space of a comfort zone then your what they used to say back in the day your bubble gonna get popped because while that might not be your reality currently that is still unfortunately people's of color reality across the goddamn globe not just in this city not just in this state it's the world baby so once you once you crawl up out that little ditch that them folk then built for you and made you feel like all your quarters was good and safe once you come up there and visit the rest of the world you'll get it and i'll welcome you i'll be i ain't like not like welcome you in i'm just gonna welcome the entertainment that you're gonna bring because you oh. Why are they doing this to me? Mm -hmm. I can't wait till them white women tears come out your black ass face, girl. <laughs> can't wait. Like Stacey Dash. Remember Stacey Dash and Stacey Dash? I, I said to my sister, I was like, you remember when Stacey Dash was cool and everybody thought that she was like amazing because she was in Clueless? Clueless. Yeah. yeah. That was, that was her out. moment. But the thing that is. That was it. That was it. Thank you for Clueless, Stacey. I believe You will that still be traded. The difference is I think that there are a lot of Candace Owens and sheep clothing that we don't know about, that we would be surprised to have the same viewpoints as her that are celebrities. Oh, absolutely. I think that she's just open about it and she doesn't give a fuck and she's going to make money off of it. But I think, I think that that's the thing. I think it's just that she's going to make money off of it. I don't even all the time 100%. And you know what? I would say I don't even 100% believe that she believe it. But brainwashing is real, y'all. And that's number mm -hmm. one. Brainwashing is real. Um, being Stockholm Syndrome is real. If you don't know what Stockholm Syndrome is, it's literally when you fall for your oppressor essentially and not only do you love them you're like concerned with their well-being even though they're treating you like shit like that is a that real a thing man. no i'm just talking about overall period like she's really bought into the belief that people of color are in the position that they're in because of what we've done it's like you're literally not you're just gonna overlook redlining you're gonna overlook fucking tulsa you're gonna overlook black wall street you're just gonna overlook all of that and be like but y'all here because y'all want to be 
the math ain't mathing. You're in love with your oppressor. You're seeking the validation. You got Stockholm Central. And that's okay, girl. On the same token, the people that say Black Lives Matter this, Black Lives Matter that, are also stealing from the black community because some of those people are just triggering us, in a sense, to buy into it, but they don't necessarily believe all the stuff that they're preaching. White people do it too. They'll try to be like, oh, did you see what Kanye West said? That's just so awful. What's wrong with that guy? And be at home be yeah. like, eh, eh, yeah. get money. <laughs> <laughs> or be with a racist family member saying like look at them people right over there because well, at the end of the day a white person in your eye black people and brown people and a white person behind closed doors are two different white people and sometimes you have to realize I've just accepted it every white person has a racist family member absolutely every white person during their absolutely. holiday season or like that's only down. because the reason that that could literally be a 100 percent factual true statement like literally 100 percent factual true statement is because slavery ain't as long ago as people think like i don't nope. know why y'all think it's some millions of eons of years ago no it was not yo. Mm. If it ain't your daddy or your granddaddy, I can guarantee you it was about your great grand. I could almost guarantee you. Like it's only but so many generations. And the sad part is, is most people of color can't even go back that far into many generations. Y'all can, certain of y'all can, and just choose not to. And the reason that you choose not to is because you know that ultimately you might find something that you're not fond of, and then that would kind of deflate your whole stance of. It was so long ago because if you go back far enough and you can find something that means it clearly wasn't that long ago but i'm gonna say this i don't necessarily uh, i like candace owens and i don't necessarily agree with everything you're a problematic you're person though i'm not prob okay i might be problematic <laughs> but i i like watching people in their viewpoints yeah i'll, I'll watch a person that's far on the right and far on the left I would too. and then i'm just like oh, okay I cool because some of the stuff she is saying i'm like yeah she is right I also that's because feel, some of the stuff she's saying is a very general concept of constructual concept of things and so therefore yes it can have valid points but it doesn't mean it's correct or half the time it doesn't even mean it's accurate it just could be a construct that was like okay I can see where she's going with that but it's just completely rhetoric just complete rhetoric so again birds of a feather it's the same thing if you go from the the, the, the left standpoint. If you go solely from any one standpoint, then yes, you are going to miss every time because it's not about one side as a collective. The same way that I am absolutely for my people, blackly, black, 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 still trying to figure out how I'm all of a sudden not dark skinned, not that little fine ass that came out. You feel me? So... I am very much for my culture, but it's also some stuff that my people in my community do that is not going to ever push us forward, but I'm not going to ever turn on my folks. But what I am educated enough to understand and realize is that if you take only our side and viewpoint of things, it's not going to apply to the Latina down the street because you're leading from my viewpoint when you need a solid collective of everybody's foundation. And right now our viewpoint is being shaped from a, male's point of view like history, how history has shown us in the past that any black leader civil rights leader or celebrity has been canceled by their own people that's also just media rhetoric as well though like malcolm x was we shot talked by about who? that <laughs> martin james baldwin by rustin they were all canceled. By Russell was canceled more not canceled, but wasn't put to the front because he was queer. But when we go back in history and we look at Michael, Will Smith, black people didn't come to Will Smith's defense this year. That's a lie. Will, if you watching this, shout out to you. I can't wait to me and you Majority. on set one day together. I love you. You're my favorite actor. And yeah, I said it. I did say it, period. I know it's Denzel's out there. I know it's Leonardo's, but Will, that's you and me, my boy majority of the whole the collective did not come to his defense i can't do what the collective do i can only be worried about the me and will i got you yes you but we are one people and at the end of the day if we group, are one then that means we all came because when i came i came the hardest 
Yes. Pause. Pause. <laughs> and pause. Wow. That came out so wrong. What the hell? What I'm saying is, is if, it doesn't matter if you got it. it and you you supported him. If you are the one that's saying stop throwing rocks and there are 10 people throwing rocks at Will Smith, it's going to hurt him. It's absolutely going to hurt him. But what I'm going to also do is go run on the side with Will and help him throw them just back into and somebody. You're to, get hurt too. Right. But then hopefully I've been riding with something. And that's what is called community and stuff. Because if I say, hopefully I am around. in our community is that we don't have that type of Exactly. Because so my thing is that I'm going to run over there. I'm going to throw them rocks with Will. And I hope that whomever with me be like oh sh- kj over there run over there start throwing rocks and, and then we at least believe the way you believe but majority of the time it's shown us that a lot of black people will side with the narrative of what the media is saying we get our news from the fucking shade room and not do the research and that is terrible y'all we, we got to get better. our news from the shade room and neighborhood talk so listen real sites. real quick caveat <laughs> <laughs> so of course we're in Atlanta so everybody and their mama are all here stars regular degular schmegular people um business women's kingpins everybody in Atlanta shout out to Atlanta y'all yeah ATL. um and I have a very good friend that I actually grew up with whose uncle is Chris Tucker and so randomly enough me and this friend were together the day prior to me getting this call so me and him together chilling cooling having a good time i think we were at a hocus pocus party probably oh. we're millenniums it was so fucking amazing anyway that's not here nor there oh so we were at the hocus pocus hocus pocus party everything's cool great next day happens right my mom calls me and i'm in the bathroom and she's like i'm like hello and she's like girl did you hear that chris tucker died of a heart attack i said Huh? <laughs> and she was like, "Yeah, girl." Um, so because I'm in the she's like, "So so and so had told me," and I said, "Let me call my baby." I said, "Well, that's odd because I was just with so and so yesterday. Let me let me get off the phone with you and call and make sure my friend okay because I was just with you. That's your uncle." So I call him and I'm like, "Hey, how you doing?" He's like, "Oh, what's up? I'm good." Like, and I'm like, "This is a very awkward tempo." for your uncle to be dead like mm-hmm. and so i'm like oh okay so so you're good and he's like yeah yeah i think so i was like well where are you and he was like oh i just pulled up the mamas and i'm like oh, so are y'all okay now i'm thinking like he didn't pull up to his mama house and he's like yo what is wrong with you and i was like is your uncle okay and he was like what i was like your uncle chris and he was like I believe so. And I was like, well, my mama just called me and told me so-and-so said her that so-and-so. And she was, he was like, okay, well, I'm going to call you right back. This man goes into the house, talks to his mama. Ain't nothing that happened to nobody. So he called me and was like, nah, everything's straight. I was so upset. I was like, why do people do that? Like, how bored and miserable are you that just, like, speak death over somebody? So then I called my mama and I got her together. I said, ma'am. Chris Tucker is not dead. <laughs> and she goes, awesome. So they just told me it was a fake blog that they ended up seeing. I said, Ma, do not be out here spreading no wrong ass news, just loud and wrong. So it's just, people just got to be careful. Like, they just say anything, spew anything, put like these folks. Well, I think we're, dr- we're drawn to negativity. As but can society. you read past the headline? So that's no, my point. Like, so, so like, like Shay Rumor intentionally put out there and be like, see who's splitting up T and Tamara. Or what, what is it? T oh, and Corey. And like, see who's splitting up T and Corey. And then when you Who click. Was it though? If you, but that's the thing. <laughs> if you click on, the, and I'm a nerd, so I'm like literally reading. I'm like, fuck the title. The title could have lied to me. What happened? When you go into it, wasn't no somebody. It wasn't no. You feel me? It was just like, they're they're choosing after 14 years unreconcilable differences nah, that's it's what like they said. that's what they said that's what the celebrity always puts out he cheated what 
Says <laughs> who? I'm just going. And along there with he it. go re in the shade no, room news. No, I do listen. Sometimes I'm human. I'm human, and I know humans are drawn to drawn to gossip or drawn to negativity. And sometimes I know it's all entertainment. First of all, why the fuck do we care that Tia and Corey are splitting up? Uh, because... Inflation. How about we talk about inflation? <laughs> Listen, because, okay, so you and I are both actors right. and actresses. Right. So we live for the story. We literally live. Our purpose and point is to put on a story yeah. to allow people to be able to escape into. And so when we get real life, and and you already know real life is truly ghetto, almost one out of ten do not recommend it for adulting. Um, but a little closer to five because I get to do what the hell I want to do. Yeah, <laughs> so I was like a little closer to five. Your mom's house, but it's definitely ghetto. Um, but it's like when you see these couples, it it steals that escape that you get from when you're watching your favorite TV show. You see me like it's not like you're idolizing them, but it's like damn, black love is definitely there. Black love is definitely possible, and when it fails, you're like, oh lord, I ain't got no chance. It always fails. I it mean, does I, not always fail. Whitney and Bobby was the greatest love story. <laughs> pulling Dookie out her butt. What? Remember the episode where he pulled the poop out of her butt? No. Yeah, it's on the reality show. He 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 wiped her booty. Yeah, they were in love. But do you really want that type of love? Tina Turner said it best. <clears throat> Who needs a heart when a heart can be broken? And majority of the time, when you give yourself too much to a motherfucker your heart gonna be broken time and time again and honestly I don't give a fuck what Beyonce and Jay-Z put out they even had some shit going on with oh, them oh well of course they definitely had shit going on with them but wait let's you not finna just speed past it you you let, an episode but would you Bobby, let somebody pull shit out your booty if we were together long, listen I would poop like when I, I pooped with the door open. My you sister, should never do that <laughs> shit. You should fucking <laughs> never ever fucking do that shit. <laughs> Y'all, one fucking day. One day Joshua almost I'm sorry, what's your name today? Thaddeus team. Thaddeus. That Th- Thaddeus. <laughs> <laughs> that is my came sister. for my life, y'all. That is came for my life, and he almost went to jail for a homicide. Not for me because I was smart and I was able to get out. But this man, it was this man in here working on that damn air condition. It was no air in here, y'all. It was no air. It was hot as a bitch. It was stuffy as shit. Oh, that's a bar. Can't get with this. Oh, okay. Anyway, hot as fuck. The man working on the AC trying. <laughs> Oh my God. Trying to just help us out. Help us out and live. And I had to go to my Jeep, right? So I'm in a Jeep, but we had to go somewhere. So I'm like, where the fuck is Josh at? Let me let me go see this. So I come back in to get ready to get Josh. This man then went to the bathroom. And the way that smell bust me all up in here. Before I could even get to the dough. It wasn't that bad. Baby, I turned around. I kept the door open because I felt like that was unfair fucking treatment for that man who was just trying to save our life. Like he had that door closed and his man was in here trying to save his life. That shit, they all could have they all could have died. That shit had to be uh, some fucking carbon monoxide. I don't know. Ever since my surgery left the rever- door open ever since my surgery reversal my poops have smelled different girl maybe that's, why, maybe that's why guys don't like eating me out anymore you're not gonna do this you're not gonna do this on this uh I good douche. good good rabbit hole rent podcast no, that's what I you're douche. not gonna do you're not about to have me looking crazy what on camera because you be do? saying some shit what i don't know because that smelled like your insides needed to be wrenched out okay them <laughs> things needed to be when we when i used to do surgery on dogs before we close them up we would take some in refloxacin which is a batrol so look and put that thing in there put some sterile water and shake that shit out okay we shake and clean you need somebody to do that for you at least well, once they a month the poop out of the dog. no that's not we was cleaning the inside because we was cutting it you want to make sure uh, that you put everything back sterile look at you i mean yeah, how good you were with that black everything. boss beaches or whatever so i wasn't uh, doing an actual cutting my mentor was are you gonna stop listening to kanye west music i didn't know kanye still made music 
I listen to niggas in Paris all the time. I didn't know Kanye. Oh, we talking about old Kanye or like current Kanye? I don't listen to current Kanye. Because only I thought he just had the choir. No, he had that gospel. Yeah, that's what I said. I thought he only had the choir. No, child. He's a genius. He's a genius. I'm look. I can separate the artists. Can you um, so you still around here uh, talking about seems like you're ready? You on that R. Kelly still? I was an R. Kelly. I used to think that I could not go on. That, that shows you how terrible I am. I'm up here, Thomas. Hey. <laughs> I'm up here singing Bump and Grind. You up here going. <laughs> yeah, I believe I can fly. That R. Mm-hmm. Kelly that's in on the court and everything, I don't know who that is. I know R. Kelly that sings I Believe I Can Fly. So you ain't know R. Kelly when he was reminding people of your Jeep? You remind me of my Jeep. Mm-mm. I want to ride it. Or what about you Seems can... Like You're Ready? <laughs> that wasn't. You can't seems get Like You're Ready. If I'm grown, why wouldn't you know I'm ready? <laughs> anyway. Uh, I could have sworn have you. you this man said, I could have sworn you were. What do you mean you could have sworn? Well, what happened? Because as a grown woman, I'm either there or not. Did you watch the Jeffrey Dahmer documentary? <sighs> I didn't since we're talking about people that are on this world you know I didn't watch it because it's just like they throwing in our face I watched I watched some of it um I, I don't believe I finished it I can't remember because me and my partner no no not at all but it, it was it was very much insightful it does suck that um they didn't do their due diligence of getting the families sign off for certain things so wow. I I do feel like that was very very much asshole but um, I still think it's informative. You don't have to get a sign off thought when you're making a, a, about a real person. And so that's the craziest thing to me because this is the second time that 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 I've well the first one let's be clear I didn't want to watch it but my partner she wanted to watch it so whatever but um, I've watched things that didn't necessarily get like a state clearance like so that Mike Tyson situation that was out like my partner was watching that and she just like all into it and i'm like i couldn't watch it knowing that he was just like please please y'all don't watch this you know like basically like i didn't sign <laughs> that's his voice i don't know please, please please y'all don't watch this i feel like it's this. But nobody really wants to hear the bad <laughs> side about what went on at them like they only want right to right like, but it's like how do bad. you but it's like how do you tell but somebody's th- story <laughs> if they don't even say like that they give you that it's kind of like when you marrying somebody you know how traditionally the guy would come to the family and be like i would like to take your daughter's hand you know it's like the blessing of that type of establishment so if somebody we don't need their blessing that's the point of this uh, the whole thing is like if you're a historical figure i don't need your blessing but that's the thing like so i just think about it because in my head like i really am going to be like this big thing like okay mm-hmm. like really gonna be up there and i was like can you jay how would you feel if somebody tried to portray your story using your name and likeness and just literally on some like didn't even care to get your your account of it because if you're telling it about me and i'm still here like how would you not ask me imitation is the highest form of flattery they didn't do that with Lil kim when Lil' Kim was in the Biggie movie. And she I just, got mad about that. I just she don't. Didn't the, she didn't like the girl that was playing her, Notori or whatever her name is. She looked just like her, if you ask me. I just, it's it's like I said, being in this industry and with my aspirations and hopes and dreams of being as big as who I would like to be one day, I just, it it's something about it that's like, even as an actress, y'all, I'm not even this broken out big star yet. Will be soon. Watch for me. But, um... I don't think I could, as an actress, go and play to portray someone who's still here walking the same earth that I'm working, walking mm-hmm. and not have their blessing. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like it... Mine is Beyonce, because Beyonce was able to do it. Not that it went anywhere, but she... didn't she, like her interpretation of her either. Um, what's her, Ella Fitz, is, yeah, Before Ella Fitz, she died. Not Ella Fitzgerald. What was that girl's name that she played? Um... Is um it was Cadillac Records right? But either way it goes, before she died, she was like, "Nah, bro, that's a no for me." Like she didn't like it, 
And I'm like, yeah, Beyonce's, thank God, big in her own right and in her own respective field. But as an actress, I would have been mortified. Mm -hmm. Mortified. Like, what? And then it's like, does that put a bad stigma on you as an actress? Like, oh, she'll just take any work. She's willing to do whatever, even if the person that she's portraying ain't even for it. I don't know. It's too much murky water for me. Just to sum it up and then, like, (laughs) with uh, what you were saying in the beginning, is because we run a a little out of time, is... When it's your life, you live it. Who gives a fuck what people think? So when you become a celebrity, people gonna talk about you regardless. Right, but if I'm still, it's and to me, it's a little bit different territory when you have somebody who's already passed on because at that point, it just becomes interpretation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like if I've passed on and somebody decided to make a movie in honor of me, whether it was positive light or not, it's still interpretation at that point. I'm not here to give my physical and firsthand account but that's why I feel like it gets dangerous. Like some of these people are here. They're here. You think Beyonce gave a fuck to what that girl thought? I do. I don't and I hope so. Do. The queen is very much, she cared. I know you did, B. I know you care. She's a ruthless capitalist. Will do and, anything that she needs to do to wow. get to the top. And I love wow. her. Wow. What you not that. finna do is have the beehive buzzing over her. Hey, it's beehive. Get, buzz, buzz. Hey, That's hey, how she made it. Hey, you hive. Have to be ruthless. Hey, to hive. In please, this world. please buzz around the rabbit hole um, because I'm in the hole. I didn't. I didn't do any of that. You I can't love the be queen. A Dash. I love the queen. Okay. I do too. If you like it, then you should have put. I. There are two types of people in this world, and I said it before in a script I wrote. There are the Beyonce's and the Stacey Dashes. Don't be a Stacey Dash. Well, duh. Okay. What comparison? Candace Owens is a Beyonce. Stacey. F- you guys, thank you so much for coming out. Thank we will you guys. Uh, have to leave on that note. I am Kenya J. Again, your beautiful co star to the Marvelous Rabbit Hole Rants. We're going to try to do this for y'all at least once a month more week yeah at least once a but week it's my birthday next week so right so we're gonna have you. to take a bye week because you know the kids turning 36 or whatever oh i'm older than you boy you older than everybody girl uh, that's why y'all be getting on my goddamn nerves all these goddamn so kids. we might have to take a bye week off but please 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 don't forget to come check us out every week right here i'm kenya J owner and founder of YNA Apparel and this is oh and of course Atlanta based home actress and And I am Thaddeus a lot of y'all know me as Queen of the Ratchet or Joshua Gilliard but today I'm Thaddeus can't wait to see who we get next week it'll be a different person because Thaddeus was only here for Pride Weekend if you are attending Pride Weekend or any Pride during the year be safe use condoms you don't know what these do not walk in the park at night I will be there because I want to see what they're doing out there okay y'all with that thank y'all for coming out God bless you you. good night bye good talk